Hey YouTube, it's Emily here um, with a couple things. I have a haul as well as a couple project shares. So we're going to go ahead and start with the project shares. So this is what I made right here. Yeah, are you guys amazed? I actually made a card. Those of you who actually watch my channel and kind of chatted with me before knows that I do not like to make cards. I don't know why because you use the same technique here that you do in scrapbooking. But I just, I don't know, I'm not good at cards. They always come out yucky. Um, but this one came out decent. And I made this for my grandma because um, I recently moved out on my own. And she sent me some money, a lot of money, which was awesome of her, to help me out. Um, so anyways, this is um, the card I made. Use some seam binding. These are some stamps that I'll show you. And then I just put this on a toothpick. Um, okay, so that's the card. And the stamp set I use, this is actually my favorite, one of my favorite stamp sets. You're going to think I'm crazy because this was literally the first time I used it, but ever since I saw them, I was like, wow, those are amazing. I can already tell they're going to be like my favorite. So it's the Hero Art Stamp, and it's called Sue So Stylish, like S-E-W, So Stylish. And I got those at Joanne's. Um, I got these at Christmas time. So here's the little ruler that I did right here. And I colored it with a distress stain. Here's two ladies. And then you're so amazing, which is right here. So anyways, I had a lot of fun with these. And then on the inside, I just used this stamp right here. So thank you. All right. So that is my card. Next, um, I'm going to give you guys a sneak peek on this mini album that I'm working on. Nowhere near done, but I've already spent uh, a lot of time on this stinking album. So anyways, I'm just going to show you guys the outside. But all the inside, I had to cut the paper, which is why it took forever. So now I just really need to get some photos. I never have any photos. It's ridiculous. I don't know why. I take photos and I just make stuff so fast or something. I don't know. But anyway, so here's the cover. And it says, Beautiful Me. And I just wrote me, and then I did, like, some little decoration on the edges and added all of these. And then I always do this with this print. I always add this little outline. And then my little seam binding there. And then this is also sprayed with some, some glimmer mist. So anyways, that's what I'm working on. So you guys will see the rest later. And if you're wondering, this album is a Maya Rhodes album. Uh, and it's called Scroll Edge Chipboard Binder Mini Album. So that's that. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and get to the haul. So the first thing that I will show you guys is my Michaels haul. Okay, so it's just, it's very tiny. So I went ahead and got these flocking powders. Um, I... I have never even used flocking powders, and I have so many colors, but these were so cheap. They were like a dollar a piece on clearance. They were 99 cents. So I went ahead and got this really cute pink, this like off-white, just a brown, and a blue. And this was the last one they had of all of them, which is good because I probably would have bought all of them, and I might never use them. So, hi, Molly. Sorry, guys, my little puppy. So I got those. Next, um... In the fine arts section, they have these little post-it note pads. I gave all mine to my boyfriend for school, and now I didn't have any. So you get 200, so 50 of each color, filling a dollar or so. Um, just some plain post-it notes, but I thought it was a good deal. So anyway, so I spent about $5 there. Um, next, I went ahead and got this. They're going to be having 20% off entire purchase. Um, you just have to print the coupon, and it's from it starts June 3rd on Sunday. So make sure you guys print that out when the time comes. All right, next we're going to go ahead and do a Target haul. Um, this is just a little box that is actually my brother's, but I stole from him. And this is where I keep my washi tape. Um, I'm so jealous of everyone on YouTube that literally has every single washi tape like ever made. I really have, like, none. I just recently got some. So the first one, this is not a washi tape, but on top were these Michaels tapes that were out, like, a year ago, those of you 
who have them. You know what I'm talking about, but it's kind of cool. Um, on the outside here is just a bunch of my washi tape designs, kind of like covering the box here. So, anyways, I don't have a lot. I have I have the Smash Can Company black and white polka dot, but I don't know where it is right now. But anyways, to the haul point. Um, these are all from Target. You get you get a four pack, and it was like three ninety nine, which is ridiculous. Cause look how much you get. So I got all that they had. I got all the red. Um, they have this blue set here. So they're all the same design, just different color. So I got the blue set, and then I got this turquoise set. I wish they would have had more colors, but hey, I'm just happy to even have them. So that is really, like, a lot. Before, I only had this, so I really don't have any compared to other people. Just massive amounts, but I'm working on it. So, anyways, that was the Target haul, so you guys got to check out Target. Next, I don't know if I showed this. This was from TJ Maxx. Um, I got this tinsel for $1.49 in lavender. I got these thickers. They're chipboard. They almost look like the storybook font from Cricut, which I have a Cricut, but... These are so cheap, it was like, oh, whatever. And they were only $1.49. So I got those. I also got these in chipboard. These have, um, like, a little design. I don't know if you can kind of see. It's in a mint color. And, again, only $1.49. And I got these pearlized ones. It's like a biscotti type color, off-white. And, again, $1.49. So super cheap. And then this was also only $1.49. Super cheap. So I got those. Um, next, this isn't a haul, this is kind of just some of the scene binding. Um, I had someone message me and ask me, like, how I store my scene binding. Which I really don't have a lot, but this is what I have, and I just keep it in a plastic bag. And I just roll them after I crinkle them, and that's how I store it. Just, just like that. So, and I just ordered like oh my gosh 40 something yards of seam binding and a bunch of different colors so I should be getting that in a couple weeks probably less and I got them at the most amazing price so when I do that haul I'll share the Etsy seller with you guys and you'll have to get on, on the deal okay next we have my local scrapbook store haul which happens to be Wimso Doodle um, in downtown St. Petersburg so we'll go ahead and get started with that so, sorry, I already opened this and they're falling out. So I got these um, basic gray colored buttons. These were half off, so five fifty half of that. So a really awesome deal. So I went ahead and picked those up. Next, this was a pre-made like decor item that they were selling for only a dollar. Isn't that so stinking cute? Um, I'm probably not gonna keep it how it is. I really just bought it to take it apart and kind of like. I don't know, do my own thing with it. And here's the little butterfly that fell. So I thought for a dollar, that was so cheap. I mean, these buttons alone are super cute. I love the Martha Stewart butterflies. I mean, there's just a lot I can do with this, taking it apart or just keeping it how it is and, like, pass it along to someone. It's just super cute. So that was only one dollar. Had to have that. And it's on, it feels like, almost feels like really thin seam binding. So there it is super cute and it's on chipboard next um i got these little chipboard shapes these were only 25 cents and you literally get a whole bunch i should have got a bunch next time i'm in i go at least once a week if not twice a week and i spend you know whatever i find is what i spend i don't i don't really spare an expense on scrapbooking stuff sometimes because i just i love it it's better than buying clothes um okay next Ah, Molly keeps walking. Next are these little, like, binder-type um, note card things. They were only $0.10 cents a piece. So I went ahead and got all that they had, which was four. And I thought this would be really good, like, to cover with a pattern paper and put inside a mini album, kind of as I did with my Disney album. I actually used, like, this envelope right here. But I thought it would be really fun if, like... See, it's like perfect size. So I went ahead and got all those, and I'm 
you know, pretty much just going to alter them and use them for mini albums. So I got those, 10 cents a piece. Next was this, like, chipboard album. It's not chipboard, it's actually like the compressed wood. And as you can see, you just add ribbon and it's a mini album. And it actually has three uh, different pieces here. And that was only one dollar. They were having like a huge sale, so I'm probably going to go back and buy some more of these. Because um, you can do all kinds of stuff with it. Next, I went ahead and picked up the paper collection 9 to 5 from October Afternoon. Let me make some of this. Um, I've been seeing it all over YouTube. And so, my store, they get like almost everything. So, of course, I went and picked it up. Um, they didn't have it in the 6x6. Six six. Well, October Afternoon, they don't make it in the 6x6 six six that I've seen anyways. So, I went ahead and got, you know, what I could, the small size. So this was $12.50, and you get a whole bunch of paper in here. You get 46 pattern papers with 23 different designs. So those of you who have not seen this paper, I'm just going to kind of gonna do like a quick show here. Look at that. Super fun. Like, fussy cut that. Look at that telephone index, and I love this. Next, we have this crazy pattern that... Make your eyes go weird. And we have this one. So I'm just going to keep going through. But it's like they have a lot of selection of paper in this collection. There's a lot of different designs. So it's bright yet vintage, which I really love. I like this a lot. So I have no idea. This is cute. We can like cut these apart for journal sections. Um, I don't know about this one. It's okay. I really like this one. This is nice. This is a wood grain. I absolutely love this one. It's very cool. So, I really don't know what I'm going to do with this yet. And we hit the repeat. I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet. But I'll find something probably. If not, it'll just sit on my shelf. <laughs> okay, next we have this pink paisley artisan tape. Only $2.00. Um, I guess it could be in the category of washi tape. It is um, transparent, but it's not quite washi. And it sticks like washi tape, but it's, I don't know how to describe it. It feels, it feels different than washi tape. But it's this argyle color and like lime green. This was the only one they had, and it was only $2, and you get a good bit on there. So it was a good deal. Next... I got this Seven Gyp Gypsies tabulated album, and it is clear acrylic. It was only $2, and it comes with the binder rings and everything. So, as you can see, it's got one, two, three, four sheets, and it kind of gradually goes. There's a picture of it right there. So, I'll have fun with that for sure. Next are these Little Yellow Bicycle cardstock stickers. Um, let's see, I don't even know what collection this is. I don't see it says it, but it's an old winter collection. It was just something that they had on sale, half price from $3.50, and I just, I thought they were cute. I don't even know if I can use them because it doesn't snow here at all, but I just thought they were cute, so I went ahead and picked them up. Next, um, I had already bought some of these, but they have all different, like, theme ones, and they're only a dollar a piece, and I used a lot on... My Disney album, as you guys can see right here, like I used them on every single page, some, a couple. So I really like these. And they're by Creative Imaginations, again, only $1. And they just have all kinds of fun words on here, like discover, seek, fresh, sunset, serenity, all kinds of stuff. And then this one's more of like artsy, art, explore, carefree, passion, all kinds of fun stuff. So I picked those up because I know I'll be using those. Next is this Tattered Angel Screen Prints Clear Stamps. Um, and this is the exclusive Heidi Swap edition. Let's see if we have a name in here. It's just called Rock and Renaissance. So this was half price from $12.50, which I thought was a great deal. And here they are. They're just the clear acrylic. And here are the designs. I really like this one. This is like... Not chicken wire, but it's, uh, and they got lace. It's not chicken wire. It almost just looks like a fence type thing. But um, I really bought it for that, so. 
it was cheap, so I had to get them. Next um, were these hopscotch basic gray letters. I literally get a pack of these every time I go because they're only a dollar on clearance. And I've literally, this is, I don't know, at least the fourth, fifth pack I've bought, like, recently since they put them back there. And I'm probably just going to buy, like, almost all of them. I don't know. We'll see. Because I've been using them so much. I mean, the Disney cover. Um, the mini album cover that I showed you. And those of you who keep up on my YouTube, you'll see that I even used them in this layout here right here it says forever and I also use them in this layout that says friends so they get used quite a bit so they're just a fun funky color so I'm definitely gonna have to buy more of those oh next um, I have the 9 to 5 stickers that match these were 250 so you get all kinds of fun stuff um, you get the days of the week, you know, the times, urgent, priority, Monday, tomorrow, all kinds of stuff. Memo. So, all, a bunch of variety of stickers. Um, this is definitely, like, probably, like, I don't know, one of my favorite things I bought. It's just a sticker sheet from Authentic. It's not new. And it's from the Genuine Collection. Um... These stickers I've been loving lately. I've been using them a lot. And I really like these kind of like faded jean colors. So I went ahead and picked those up. And again, these little words is again another thing that I'm just loving. And all kinds of stuff. Treasured. Peace. Um, the happiest times are spent with you. There's lots of stuff that you can use this. And the colors are easy to use with anything. And it looks like this is the last thing. I don't even know what this is. But it was only a dollar. At the time, I didn't know what it was. It was only a dollar. And it was by my road. So I was like, ah, whatever. I'll get it. I mean, it comes with two rings. That's worth at least 50 cents right there. But I bought it because I like this little edge. And I was like, oh, I can paint that. And use it on a scrapbook page. That's worth a dollar to me. And then I actually started, like, looking at the tag, which I didn't look at before. Mini Christmas tree book. And I saw that it had that it has actually two pieces of chipboard. So let me open this up real quick. And I didn't even look at the other piece. Oh great, it's like, it's got that shiny plastic cellophane stuff on it. So I'm probably not gonna be able to get it open. Nope. But anyways, you can kind of see the tree. Um, I'm not sure, I'm probably not even gonna make a mini album out of it. But we'll see. But I just, Thought it was worth it. it was only dollar. And then lastly, I want to show you guys. Those of you, um, again, who keep up with my YouTube, saw that I had bought these distress themes at Joann's. You get them in the three pack. This is the only colors that I saw um, that you actually get in the packages. And they were like super cheap. They were like 40 or 50 percent off. It ended up being like six dollars for three of them or something. So here are the colors if you guys haven't seen, the ones that I have. You have Broken China, which is the blue, Peeled Paint, Chip Sapphire, Vintage Photo, Aged Mahogany, and Spice Marmalade. And I'm loving these distress themes. I really wish I would have discovered them before. I've been using them on so much stuff. Um, here, I used them. I also used them on the card right here. You can see on the edges and whatnot even on the edge of the envelope. They're just so easy to use and they work the same way as the distressing pads. They're, they work with the water well. So, and you can also use them on the seam bindings, which is awesome because I just bought a bunch of like white. So I'm definitely going to be using them on there. So anyways, thanks for watching guys. And I have a ton of packages coming from all different scrapbook places. I can't even remember, but I know I have a bunch coming. So I'm looking forward to doing some more haul videos with you guys. Until then, I hope you guys stay creative, and I will talk to you later. Bye!